Hi everyone, welcome to the third part of my skin shading tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how you can make your character's skin come to life. It's going to go from this, to this, and just a few simple tricks. Please hit the like and subscribe button to keep following my content. So let's begin and bring our skin to life. So as you can see I've got three faces here. This is just so I can show you my process. I want to add blush into her cheeks and her forehead. I'm just trying to think how best the lighting would affect her face. So I want a nice blush colour, a soft pink. I've set my layer to overlay and I'm dropping the opacity right down. This is slightly too low at the moment. So I'm just going to bring that back up. As you can see already, there's a slight blush to her nose now. I'm just bringing that around on the cheek. I want to bring her skin to life, I don't want it to be dull. So I'm just lightly dabbing, just like I showed you in the other tutorials. I'm trying to think where the blood vessels would be in the skin as well. So as you can see there's a difference already there. So I'm just deepening that colour. Just darkening around the eyebrows and the forehead. I'm trying to think where the sun will be hitting as well. I'm just blushing the lips. There's a lot of blood vessels in your lips as well. Just highlighting above the ear too. The more you do this, you can see it coming to life. It just depends on what you've drawn. So I've just added a face map on this. It's just a topology so you can actually see where the light would probably hit the face. It's thinking about the shapes and how the contours are on the face. Nothing's flat. Just added a bit of blue as well. There's a variation in the pigmentation in the skin now. This is really bringing it to life. Just deepen the eyebrow as well. I want to bring contrast into the image as well. This is something you can do in your work as well and it will just improve it so much. And don't worry if you can't get this the first time, just keep trying and practicing. I'm only using the round brush in Photoshop so it's so simple, you do not need anything else. So I'm just going to copy this over. Just trying to give you a step by step look on the character's face to see what's going on. It's nice to see your progress as well, so if you are learning this is really helpful. Just going in with a deeper colour. I really want to highlight under this cheek slightly, but the key here is to use layer styles. Sometimes it's nice to experiment through different layer styles and you will find one that works with your work, but generally I'll stick with hard light, overlay or soft light and sometimes I will use lighten, but I'm using ha hard light for this one. I'm just darkening around the eyes as well. Just trying to pick out some more contrast. Want the eyes to pop from the face. So the darker the eyes, they'll just stand out so much. And this is something that you can keep in mind. Just deepening the lips. Just bringing a bit more blush into the face as well. I want them to have a healthy glow. Almost like a sun-kissed glow. And this is just as simple as having a hard light layer. Dropping the opacity down and then working on top of it with just a round brush with a low flow. So 
so you can make a linear dodge layer and just drop the opacity down on it and just get a colour that's right for you for your face and the skin tone colour and then you can just dab around and it will create like almost like a bloom effect so it'll make the skin look like it's shimmering and it's got a bit of a sheen or a gloss on it this is a great way of highlighting your work as well and putting more and more detail into it so as you can see I'm just being really soft if you find that your layer is too strong just drop the opacity down or the flow down whatever works best for your work but the difference in this is just amazing now it's gone from that first step straight up to this and the skin's just coming to life now small tricks like this just really help you with your work just picking out more details where I can you can spend hours and hours just working into this as well but for this tutorial I've kept it a bit shorter just want to highlight the chin a little bit sometimes when you're highlighting you might find it just looks too much as well don't be afraid to just remove it or create another linear dodge layer and drop that down even more on the opacity just highlighting that back cheek slightly her face is just popping now it almost looks 3D it's got a nice render to it and you can tell that the contours of the face have been mapped out with the shading at this stage as well it's just great to turn the layers on and off just to see how far you've come or you can just work like me and have three different heads and work on them bit by bit As you can see then it was just too bright but it's actually really good just to do the lips so sometimes a mistake can actually work in your favour as well so it's just it's such light touches you don't need to press too hard on your tablet There's a bit of character coming into this face now, and I'm presuming you guys are at this stage as well. It doesn't matter how good your drawing is, if you can get the shading down, you can create this look whenever you want. That almost looked like a harsh light coming down from the sun. So it does depend on how bright you want your sun as well. You could have it more dim or really bright and contrasty. That just depends on what character or what style you're going for. And if the character's in a lit environment that's quite bright or if they're in a dark environment such as an alleyway or a house. Lighting will be affected by assets in a room as well such as a torch or a fireplace and that will affect how warm the light is as well. If a character's casting a spell and it's a blue spell coming from her fingers, like a flame, it's going to cast a soft blue light on her face. And it'll probably be a more white light as well. So just keep this in mind when you're working as well. I just want to contrast the eyes out a little bit more. And bring up the eyebrows a bit more. When you get to this stage, you do start to think, I'll, I'll keep working into it more and create more detail and you start to pick out little areas where the shadows might be a bit darker or where it just needs a bit of help and a bit of contrast if it's too soft so again I'm just playing around with the flow it's so important the flow and the opacity they just help you so much with blending I'm just using a soft light layer to create shadows the less opacity you have in your colour the more you can layer it with another colour 
So again, I'm just detailing some of the edges here. Just trying to make a face pop. I'm trying to fit where the harsher shadows will be in the face as well. If you're using reference, you'll have a lot more to go by as well. It will help you more. But if you're going from your memory, it can be a little bit more tricky. Adding in a shadow there because I just want the face to look a bit more 3D. And I want it to seem like the light's falling across the face and not just washing the face out completely. So as you can see, there's just such a massive difference now. And we've gone from that first stage straight to this. It's so interesting and so cool and like anybody can do it. Once you get the knack for blending with, with the opacity down and the flow down, you'll just, it'll just start switching. Everything will fall together for you. So you can add in a soft light layer. Generally I use the soft light layers uh, for shadowing and highlight. You can always drop the opacity down of this as well. If you went straight to black it would create really dark shadows on your character's face as well. It's just one way of uh, shadows and highlights. So as you can see I'm just picking out some darker colours. I always play around with the flow and opacity because you could just create so many different looks and like now I'm just painting in some freckles. Just the small amounts just to give the face a little bit of a little bit of texture. You can go quite far with this as well if you want quite a lot of freckles or uh, blemishes on the face. It's nice to add character into your faces. When I was a young artist, I generally just drew quite flat faces. Everything was flat like a mask. So I wish I had known more about this when I was younger, so I'm so glad to be sharing this with you. So that's it guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you all learnt something new. I'm going to be doing more things as well, so I'll keep you all updated. Uh, I'm going to leave links in the end of this video, just so you can go and look at my other videos. You will find something useful in every video that I do. Thank you very much.